If there was ever a time that you wanted to be able to practice not having the answers, now is it. Because now for the first time it's actually socially acceptable because now that makes you like everybody else. 60 days ago, it was not okay for you not to have the answer. It was not okay for the boss, for someone to ask the boss, say, hey boss, what's our strategy in dealing with this customer? And I'm saying, I don't know. And then stopping and allowing that to sit. And you know what, if you're a leader out there right now and you're going through all of this, or whether you're in the, and I always like to say this, in the boardroom, the mail room, the classroom, or the living room, it's okay to say, I don't know. And that's not just gonna be powerful in getting through this. That's a powerful skill to learn, period. People that are willing to stop with, I don't know, will be the ones that win because that's who we want to follow. We want to follow the real person, not the fake person. And we have way too many examples and, and role models for what fake leadership is. What we don't have enough of is real leadership that a person that doesn't have all the answers is somebody that you can feel a connection with. So why would that be any different if you're leading a team for a company, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a freelancer that's consulting for your client with our children, why would that be any different? We're connected to each other's and attracted to each other's humanity. And yet we spend 40 hours a week pretending that we don't have it. That is a disconnect that this moment in time gives us the opportunity to reset and realign. But I will tell you that as soon as the external pressure goes away, most people won't have the courage to do it. But right now you can learn to flex that muscle and build it to make it stronger and stronger so that way when we go back to where everybody's pretending everything's fine and they're all experts and heroes and they know everything, you can be the one that's brave enough to say, I don't know, and then you're the one with the fucking cape. And then you're the one that I wanna follow and you're the one that I actually trust because then when you actually say you know, I'll trust you, I'll know you know, and I wanna follow you and believe in you and do whatever it is that you tell me to do.